Hey gang, um, this is going to be a three test series on H1 steel. So I'm testing it three times just to see if the edge retention changes. It's also a decent control for my test to see if I get the same ish numbers on the exact same knife. I've already done it with the Victorinox, a couple of knives I think. But anyway, uh, so there's that reason, but also to test this work hardening business. So I'll explain that in the second um, conclusion part of the video. But I'll roll now um, three different sets of testing on the H1 steel of the Dragonfly uh, in H1. And um, it'll be one from the day I got it. I put a work sharp edge on it, which I cut till it was dull. And then the, I think about a month after that, and then just today. So it's been about seven weeks. Uh, since I've had this knife and um, so I've tested it three times roughly uh, even periods over those seven weeks so I'll, I'll just roll the testing in full um, I'll speed it up obviously so it's not too painful to sit through and then I'll do the numbers at the end so stay tuned thanks H1, um, first test 42, second test 44, third test 44, very negligible differences. The reason I tested it three times, the reason this has been a while coming, is that I wanted to also put some, I don't know it was only seven weeks uh, of use and sharpening and resharpening, I wanted to put something uh, in the tank regarding this supposed work hardening that I've heard about. Now I didn't have a horse in the work hardening um, race at all, but some folks suggest that the more you use and resharpen this steel, uh, the harder the higher the rockwell gets and the, the longer the edge lasts. So, um, from this short amount of time, maybe it's not long enough, I haven't seen any of that. Uh, overall, though, it's a pretty low edge retaining steel, but it's an incredibly stainless steel. So, if you think about um, Victorinox's steel, which is very, very stainless but can still rust, I think we've all had some rust on our pocket knives when they sit for too, too long. Uh, this one pretty much won't. I've left this in salty lemon water for half a day and it didn't do anything to it. Not a, not a single thing. So, it's very, very rust resistant. Um, and you pay a lot less for it than the LC200N2. So, as I'll sort of say often, um, edge retention is everything and as long as the steel has a purpose uh, to its composition then it's really not a problem at all. So that's my findings on H1. It's a lower end edge retaining steel but it's um, obviously got valuable properties uh, in other senses. So uh, that'll be that. Thanks for watching dude. See you in the next video. Bye.